Why do we always want things that are big enough to catch our eyes? Do really big things mean huge value to us? It's not that I'm questioning your outlook as a hobbyist, but would you really want to place a giant fish if you only have a nano tank? No, right? There's a beauty to having plenty of tiny and cute fish that could create an extravagant look inside of your tank. You're hearing me right, fish keepers. In the aquarium hobby, there are plenty of options if you wanted a species that will give you an awesome looking tank and comes in a compact size. These are the 21 best small freshwater fish that will definitely create an astounding impact to the beauty of your tank. Everything you need to know about these fish, only here at Aquarium Store Depot. Keeping tiny fish has a lot of benefit. You can keep them in a small tank, which is the first and most evident benefit. In addition to taking up less space in your home or workplace rather than a huge tank, this is also less expensive and simpler to set up. In comparison to keeping a larger species, keeping a community tank of small freshwater fish allows you to have more of each fish and a greater diversity. Despite not necessarily being simpler to maintain, small fish are frequently less expensive than large ones. I know you wanted to know more about these incredible little fish. That's why we'll get on with our topic. Let's start the discussion with our first fish on this list. The Super Hot Chili Rasboras Chili Rasboras are awesome schooling fish for a small aquarium. These micro fish don't even reach an inch in length, so you never have to worry about them outgrowing your tank. Chili Rasboras feel safer in numbers, so make sure you keep a group of 10 or more. Keeping them in a nature-style tank with live plants will also bring out the best in them and make for a fascinating display. This second fish will shock you once you meet them. Make yourself known to the exclamation point raspora. The exclamation point raspora is closely related to the chili raspora, but it's even smaller. They are the smallest of the raspora family in the aquarium trade and the tiniest fish you're likely to come across. Exclamation point rasporas get their name from the bold stripe and dot markings they have on the sides of their orange bodies. These rasporas can be kept in a 5 gallon tank, but will be much happier in a large school in a 10 gallon tank. Going third on the list is the majestic looking Scarlet Bodice. The Scarlet Bodice is an amazing little fish for more experienced aquarists. These micro fish look like tiny cichlids and they can be just as territorial. Scarlet bodies are pretty shy, and they require live food, which is why they're not ideal for beginners. They can be kept in a tank with other fish of the same species, but you'll want to provide plenty of cover to prevent too much aggression. A group of one male with a few females is the ideal setup in a nano tank. Shining even in the dark is the fourth small fish on this list, the Neon Tetra. Neon Tetras hardly need any introduction. These beautiful schooling fish are superstars of the aquarium world and are ideal for a community tank. Neon tetras are super easy to care for and they'll thrive on many standard fish foods. They are social creatures, however, so keep at least six to see all that these fish have to offer. You surely have heard of this fifth small fish called Endler's Live Bearers. Endler's Live Bearers are great fish for beginners who do not have the room for a large fish tank. These fascinating fish have amazing colors and beautiful fins and are really easy to breed. Male Endler's live bearers have amazing multicolored markings, particularly in orange and black. The females are pretty plain in comparison and also grow much larger. You won't be catfished if you try the Pygmy Cory catfish inside your nano tank. The Pygmy Cory catfish is just one of the dozens of Corydora species in the aquarium hobby. These peaceful fish are much smaller than most other quarries, and also have the interesting habit of schooling in the midwater rather than on the bottom. These nano fish are really peaceful and will get along great with other nano schooling fish. Another better option for your nano tank is the betta fish. Betta fish are one of the best looking fish species on the planet. These fish are available in a huge variety of different breed types and colors, so there's a perfect betta for everyone. Betta fish are not as small as some of the other nano fish on this list, but they do great in small aquariums. These fish should not be kept in small spaces like cups or bowls, but they can thrive in a 5 gallon tank with filtration and heating. Betta fish are famously aggressive towards other bettas, but they can actually be kept with some other peaceful tank mates in a well planned community tank. Eighth on the list is the pea puffers that you should have been very familiar with now if you follow our channel. 
If you're looking for a small fish with a big personality, look no further than the pea puffer. These tiny fish can be kept in a very small tank where they'll amaze you with their adorable looks but ruthless attitude. Pea puffers use their razor sharp teeth to tear into snails, their favorite food. They're not great community fish, however, because they're known to bite their freshwater aquarium tank mates. They're best in a species only tank. Sweet like fresh honey is the honey gourami, the ninth small fish option that you should try. The honey gourami is a beautiful fish from the betta family. These fish are relatively peaceful and can be kept alone as a centerpiece fish, although they would be happier if kept in a small group with plenty of hiding spaces. They also get along great with other species of peaceful community fish like tetras. Honey gourami are air-breathing fish, so they need to have access to the surface of the water to survive. These interesting fish also have two long feelers that they can use to explore their environment. Its name might sound like an ember, but the ember tetra showcase like a flame. The ember tetra is one of the smallest tetra species in the aquarium hobby. These nano fish are a fiery red color, but have very sweet personalities. These very small fish can be pretty shy, so keep a nice big school in a heavily planted tank to increase their confidence. Ember tetras are easy to care for and will thrive on a diet of crushed flakes and micro pellets. The guppy little friend in the hobby is our 11th fish on this list. Guppies are such popular aquarium fish that you'll find them in just about any fish store you walk into. They're great beginner fish, but still hold interest for expert aquarists interested in breeding projects. There are many different breeds of guppies, with fancy guppies being the more colorful and varied. These fish are live bearers, which means they're really easy to breed. You will crave for the existence of Japanese rice fish inside your tank. All right, calm down fish keepers, because we're not talking about food here. And let me explain to you why. Japanese rice fish are awesome cold water fish for a nano tank. These shoaling fish are very peaceful and have been kept by fish keepers for centuries. There are many different breeds of Japanese rice fish, including white, pink, and orange types. Fine like a wine is our 13th small fish, called Cherry Barb. The Cherry Barb is a classic in the aquarium hobby. They get their name from the beautiful deep red color of the males in their breeding colors, although the females are also very attractive. Cherry Barbs are such popular freshwater fish because they get along great with other freshwater nano fish species. They do not have the fin nipping tendencies of some of the other barb species like tiger barbs. Jumping onto our next fish, black is truly an elegant color, especially for the black neon tetra. Black neon tetras make the perfect beginner fish for tropical freshwater aquariums. These small fish are incredibly peaceful, so they make an ideal tank mate for other fish. Black neon tetras are very easy going and hardy too. They can thrive on a diet of flake food, but they will appreciate the occasional treat of live or frozen fish food. They are the most hardy of all neon species in the hobby. 15th on the list is the hatchet fish. The marble hatchet fish is a really unusual nano aquarium fish that will add life to the top level of your tank. These fish have a really deep flattened body with interesting black markings and long pectoral fins that they hold above their backs. Hatchet fish are master jumpers, so make sure your tank is completely covered to prevent them from escaping. It's best to keep them in a school of 10 or more and provide them with plenty of floating plants to bring out their confidence. Another small fish we got on our topic today are the Harlequin Rasporas. The Harlequin Raspora is a peaceful schooling fish with characteristic black triangular markings on the back half of its body. This contrasts with their overall golden orange color to make for a mesmerizing display. Harlequin Rasporas are ideal community fish that get along great with other species of peaceful fish. These fish are great for beginners and will really thrive in a planted tank, especially if kept in a big school of 10 or more. This next fish will always make sure that you're happy whenever you see them. Meet the Clown Killifish. The Clown Killifish is a slender banded fish that spends all of its time up at the top of the aquarium. Once they color up, these tiny fish show the most amazing colors, especially on their tails. These awesome nano fish are also known as Rocket Killifish because their tails look like the bright flames of a jet. Clown Killifish can also rocket their way out of a tank, so make sure you have a tight fitting lid to prevent them from jumping out. The Glow Light Danios will light up your aquarium with its fantastic beauty. Glow Light Danios are an amazing golden fish from Southeast Asia. 
These hardy and adaptable fish should be kept in a nice big school of the same species. They're very active little fish, so they need a larger tank to really thrive. They only grow to one inch in length and prefer to be in groups of at least six. They're completely safe with plants and are adaptable to a variety of conditions. Celestial Pearl Daño are the richest sounding fish we have on this list. Well, it's not only their name, but their beauty that truly complements a rich aquarium setup. Celestial Pearl Daños are one of the most beautiful freshwater fish for small tanks. These peaceful fish have vivid orange and black fins, and their bodies are covered in golden spots, just like a sparkling night sky. The females are a little less colorful than males, but they're still great looking fish. Celestial Pearl Daños are pretty shy little fish that thrive in a planted tank. They can be kept with other peaceful nano fish and will do best when kept with bottom and surface dwellers that won't compete for their space in the mid water of the tank. White Cloud Mountain Minnow goes on our 20th spot in this topic. White Cloud Mountain Minnows are very peaceful fish from the mountains of China. These small freshwater fish come from a cold water environment, so they do best when kept in an unheated freshwater tank. Most white cloud mountain minnows have a neon silvery stripe down their sides and short, bright red fins. Some awesome varieties are available, however, including a long finned and a golden form. And finally, the last small gem we have for nano freshwater aquariums is the Otocinclus catfish. Otocinclus catfish deserve a spot in just about any freshwater aquarium. These tiny fish are incredibly peaceful, which makes them the first choice for red cherry shrimp keepers. These schooling fish are best known for eating algae, and they do an amazing job of keeping their tank clean. Whew, that's plenty of information, don't you think? You must be having difficulty in recalling these small fish one by one. But no worries, let's hit you with a short quiz about the topic, shall we? All right then, let's start with the first question. What are these beautiful schooling fish that are superstars of the aquarium? Next, this species is called Master Jumper. Which are they? And lastly, where do we find more information regarding this topic? If you answered Aquarium Store Depot website on the last question, then you got it right. There are still plenty of things you need to know about the care maintenance of these freshwater small fish. And I'm glad to tell you that we actually have all that information and more on our official website at www.aquariumstoredepot.com. Modern aquarists have access to an incredible variety of small freshwater fish species. This can make selecting the species that will thrive in your tank pretty challenging. But maybe you have tips that you can share with other fish keepers right here. So just drop it down in the comment section below. We'll see you next time for our next topic, fish keepers. Thanks so much for supporting our channel.